All right, y'all, what's going on? Today, we're doing a ball review. So we're in my office here. Check out my little stash going on. So we got some balls in here. What we got? Idle, high road, trend, IQ, bunch of little toys. But today, we're here for this, this one in particular. The UFO. Well, that's not working. The UFO alert. Isn't she pretty? So I'm pretty excited to drill this ball up. For those of you who follow, I, I just kind of got back into bowling. But I've been listening to a lot of the tour guys talk about how good this bowling ball is. And so I was like, well, first ball back drilling. Why not this one? So now, got to get some holes in this thing. So I am lucky enough to have my own press in my garage. Here it is. Basic tri-oval, all the bits, vacuum. I got my own workbench going on here. Old school little stereo system. Uh, lay out my bone balls, bevel sander, all the goods, all you need right here. Yeah, when we're on tour uh, and we're drilling all these balls, uh, it just made sense to get my own press. You know, for normal people, don't get a press. It really doesn't, I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, these things are kind of a pain. They don't move well, wherever it goes, it is, but if you're drilling for like us, 50 plus bowling balls a year, uh, the cost associated with that, and then you know sometimes we need to get balls done quick, and the pro shop might not be able to do it. It just made sense. So found this bad boy. It's been awesome. Absolutely love it. Great investment. So now it's time to drill the bowling ball. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna lay it out. I think I'm gonna do like a five and a half inches away from my pap, pin up. Pretty tall pin, pretty normal layout for what I like. Now, in the comments, if you guys have thrown or seen this UFO alert, go down the lane. Let me know. Let me know what you think about it. If you've thrown it, how does it roll compared to other balls? Whatever you guys got, let me know. I'm really interested. I haven't really seen too many go down the lane, but I have heard a lot of the PBA guys talking about it. So if they're liking it, I gotta give this one a try. So now, I'll stop talking. Let's get some holes in it. Let's get some shots thrown. Let's put together a little ball review. Okay, we have a finished product. Here's what my UFO alert looks like. Pin kind of above my middle finger. Like I said, this is about five inches, five and a half inches away from my pat. Um, I use turbo, so turbo grips, turbo switch grip. I love the switch grips. Big fan of the turbo products. They last me a good amount of time. Like I, I never really have any issues with bowling balls. Um, and I go through a ton of bowling balls. The installation's easy, so I'm drilling. I love that. I don't want it to take too much time. So, got the turbo stuff in the bowling ball, UFO alert, ready to go. Now we just gotta go to the bowling alley and uh, throw some shots. Let's talk about the UFO alert. So the numbers on the UFO alert, RG is, I believe 2.52 and then diff is 054. The UFO alert is asymmetric. It comes shiny. And the main thing I wanna express, and you guys got to see some of the shots, is what I saw and felt as a bowler is this ball is very controllable, especially for a pearl. Now, it's really easy. You get some pearl balls that are really clean, really strong down the lane, and sometimes that's what you need. You know, and I know a lot of bowlers, myself included, we love seeing that ball make this crazy angle down the lane and go through the pins, but a lot of the times, 
that is not really the shape you want to strike. Now I was watching this UFO alert go down the lane. Uh, the first couple of shots, first impressions was how controlled it was. Um, I actually started, I was born on a uh, beat up kind of long pattern. Uh, there was some hook to the right, a lot of oil in the middle part of the lane, but I was surprised that I couldn't get left and see this ball completely just boomerang off of it. That wasn't the shape it was giving me. I actually moved a little bit further right and when I did that, this ball gave me this nice controllable shape where I could miss in a little bit. And this ball would read in the oil and carry when it hit the pins. It didn't really want to deflect. And as long as I didn't throw it too hard and got it right, it would shape and go through the pins well. So when I'm bowling on, you know, really any type of shot, but a lot of these harder conditions and even house shots, I'm looking for controllable shapes. If I drill a bowling ball and maybe the layout did it or the bowling ball itself and it's go, the ball goes really long and skid flips and yeah, it looks beautiful going through the pins, but I, I try to stay away from those reactions because those are the ones that are generally going to give me a lot of splits and a lot of second shots that I don't really want to shoot at. So. Overall, I can really see how the PBA guys are liking this ball. It's controlled. That's a shape that we like. I mean, a lot of times we need cleaner balls. We also need something that we can control down lane so we know what it's going to do so we can get a predictable reaction. So I can definitely see this UFO alert. It's clean. It's controllable. Really like what I'm seeing. I got a couple tournaments coming up. I plan on using this ball quite a bit. Uh, they're on some longer patterns. I think this ball is going to be really good for that. So, all right, everyone, thanks for watching this ball review on the UFO alert. I know it's been a while since I did a ball review. I'm just getting back to bowling, so I plan on doing more. Uh, for those of you who are watching this, make sure you guys go support the house, housebowling.com. Check out some merch. Also, Brad and Kyle membership, we're running a 25% off for the entire month of August for a yearly membership. Awesome deal. You get any Storm Roto 900 Global Ball with that. So we're really excited to get more people in there. It's been awesome. But yet, you're going to be seeing more videos out of me. I'm excited. I kind of got, the, uh, I got the, the, the urge back to make some content for you guys. So uh, don't be too mad at us because there hasn't been too much content going out. Uh, but you will see more. And make sure you guys are following along on the summer tour. Make sure you guys are sending some good vibes to the house. We need some more house titles. So that's going to be it for me. We'll see y'all later. Hope you enjoyed this ball review. Peace.